Listen. You know me, I'm not a big fan of gatekeeping. But there's a few things you should know before I can take you seriously as a trans person, okay? It's not a lot, but there are a few significant events I expect you to at least be aware of. No, I'm not referring to the Stonewall riots. It's something even more impactful, something that has shaped the modern life of every trans masculine person. I'm of course talking about Thomas Jefferson's Hatsune Miku binder. My body screaming, hell yeah. Yes. yes yeah. The Thomas Jefferson. As you may know, he made his debut in Hamilton the Musical and the people of America were so touched by his performance that he was then elected President of the United States. Jefferson is an art education major, so it's safe to say that he was more than qualified to rule an entire nation, like how hard can it be really? It's not like they're doing a good job right now. Can we just take a moment? to appreciate all the progress we've made as a society. Who would have thought that a furry trans guy, John's former drug dealer and a recovered book addict could be the president of the United States of America. I'm so proud of this country. I say as if I'm American. Thank God I'm Swedish, no offense. How many, I know money, how much years old you think? Love the people of the US, hate the system. Sour cream. Sour cream. Quick summer. Sweden is by no means perfect, trust me. But you know, at least I'm alive. That's always something. Actually, the bare minimum, but I take what I can get. To be completely real with you, I'm pretty sure that if I would have been born in the US, there's no way in hell I would still be alive at this point in my life. I I'm being completely serious, by the way. I know most of what I say comes off as me joking. It's hard to take me seriously, but I'm not joking this time. That's just how I talk. I just can't help that I got the voice of a cartoon comic relief character. That's just, that's just how I sound, I'm sorry. I've had two people tell me I talk like JFK from Clone High at this point, which I guess is appropriate seeing as the topic of this video is none other than the Hamilton fandom. Um, not the historical figures, but you know, the musical. It's kind of an important distinction because it's led to a lot of discourse. Some warranted criticism, which then escalated and turned into a hate campaign. Naturally, of course, as things do. We're all very familiar with online interactions, fandoms and discourse at this point. We know how it goes, but <laughs> where do I even start? According to Google, Hamilton came out in 2015 but uh, I'm pretty sure he died in the 1800s. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. I shouldn't even have to introduce him. We all know that it was written by Lynn Nibble Lips Miranda. <laughs> who coincidentally portrayed none other than Alexander Hamilton himself. Identity theft is not a joke, kids. Uh, editing Miles here, I just remembered why those photos were so funny. It's because he would sell framed selfies on his website for $80. Or almost 80 but yeah. <laughs> just thought I should note that. It was a success nonetheless, and justly so. I just cannot lie. The songs are really good. It's kind of embarrassing how many times I've cried to burn. What I'm trying to say is that I understand why it accumulated such a large and dedicated fandom as a self-proclaimed internetology <laughs> internetologist. I know that the natural progression of any popular media is to become cringe. It's, it's, it's actually more than the knee-jerk reaction of a hipster. It's a response to all the garbage that comes out of the festering, self-indulgent fandom. And I say that in the nicest way possible. It's really simple math, guys. What's 9 plus 10? 
21. Come on, I know we're idiots on this channel, but um, anyone could figure this out. If you put 100 kids in the pool, there's bound to be at least one kid that pees. That's it. Someone ruined the entire pool. You can't just look on the bright side and focus on the clean water. And, and then no, you're gonna notice the yellow tint. You're gonna feel the warm sensation as it spreads across the pool. We've seen it with MLP, Sonic, Undertale, FNAF, Rick and Morty, etc. Hamilton is no exception. Is that gonna stop me from enjoying something? Buddy, I worked for a Minecraft YouTuber at the peak of cringe culture. There's not an ounce of shame in my body. Not that I'm a big Hamilton fan, I just want to remind you that I'm shameless. I don't think you need a reminder for that. <laughs> now, if you've spent any time on Tumblr, you probably know the gist of it. They make fanfics, fan art, headcanons and AUs. Once again, Hamilton is no exception. I would love to talk more about how I once tried to infiltrate a Hamilton kin group who kinned the actual historical figures and was looking to complete the entire family. I messaged them, telling them I kinned the beagle from the 1700s, which they were looking for. I'm, I'm just slightly disappointed that I never got a response. We could also discuss the HIV positive cannibal mermaid AU by someone who claimed to be an Asian child trafficking survivor. Turned out it was just a white girl in a gated community who scammed people online. But I don't have time for any of that, I'm sorry. Though I have time to promote my stuff, subscribe for more content, like this video, tell me your ideal binder pattern in the comments, go nuts, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. If you go on my Ko-Fi you'll see that I have a donation goal set up in case you want to help me with financial support for my top surgery. My consultation is the 1st of April, links in the description. Love you, enjoy the video. Country boy, I love you. Let me introduce you to the main character of this story, Redacted. I'm not gonna use her name because I don't want anyone to seek her out. And yeah, you heard me right, I'm using she, her pronouns because I love misgendering and dictating others' identity. Like I said, I'm very weak-minded, which I'm gonna talk more about, but... Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She used to identify as trans and use he, him, but has recently come out as a girl. Good for her. Honestly, it's more than okay to try out labels, pronouns, names, and realize that it's not for you, because at least you tried it out. It, it doesn't really change the story, though. I just want to bring that up because um, I'm confused about what pronouns to use when talking about her in the past. I don't want anyone to think that the creator was just some silly this girl that fetishized trans guys. At the time, it was probably a very real experience to her. So um, please don't speculate about her identity in the comments. And um, that's not okay. It is what it is. Deal with it. I was also kicked out of the GSA at my school twice. Um... Back in 2017, Redacted. Um, I'm just gonna call it Redacted for the rest of this video, cool. Redacted came up with this modern Hamilton College AU, which she then created an entire Tumblr blog dedicated to this AU specifically. I assume it's the usual AU stuff with silly head cannons and stuff. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> <coughs> Form the cannon. <coughs> Who was that? Who said that? <laughs> but... What really made this AU so notorious is none other than the character sheets. First one naturally displays Hamilton, who is gender fluid. Love that for them. Then we have John Lawrence, who's a pansexual single father. He's apparently also a stoner who's been smoking since the age of 12. Cool. Um, love that for him. That's awesome. Keep it up, dude. We also have Philip Hamilton, who's gender fluid and bisexual, just like his father. I think this is what's confusing. Is this supposed to be Alexander's child in this AU? Does he go to the same college as his father? Isn't that um, kind of awkward? I wouldn't know though, I didn't go to college. I'm not mentally well, neither do I have a dad. Fun times, y'all. We have fun on this channel, don't we? <laughs> no, you can't leave now. Philip Hamilton, better known as Philly Cheese. It's the 
To be honest, I think they should have included that in the musical. Imagine that Philip gets shot and the lip nibbler looks at him and goes, No, Philly Cheese, my boy, my boy, Philly Cheese, stay with me. You know, the Stay Alive song. I think that would have been appropriate. He's also a closeted furry and says, Nya, and ironically, once again, why did they not include this in the musical? Lin Manuel Miranda, I've got questions. Last but not least, the character sheet that actually blew up the infamous Thomas Jefferson with a Hatsune Miku binder and a shirt that says, Met God, she's black. He's trans and bisexual. Me too, dude. Me too. Born and raised in Virginia. Furry, taking Japanese lessons. To be honest, I don't know why that's the same bullet point. Wouldn't that be more appropriate to put with obsessed with anime? Anyways, dated Angelica Skyler before his transition. Her dad had no idea. Thomas calls her Angie and is one of you who can do that and live. Ooh, first comes marriage, then comes baby, then... Uh, wait. <laughs> I don't know how it goes, I'm sorry. Frequents Barnes and Nobles and Starbucks. I've never been to a Starbucks. So, naturally, he runs into Alexander and his ex a lot. John's former Bruh. dealer. Used to be addicted to pain. Hates to recall his past. Don't we all, buddy? No, uh, for real though. I refuse to believe this person exists. I mean, uh, he doesn't obviously, but I like to imagine that he does. And there's no way that someone like this would exist. It's physically impossible. If someone with a Mika binder told me that they used to do bruh, bruh. I'd be like, okay, you're a huge liar. <laughs> Just wait until someone in the comments go, um, actually, I wear a Mika binder and I used to do bruh. Nice try, buddy. Like this big bull seal. <laughs> Sorry about that tangent. I, I think we're done here. I've had enough of Thomas Jefferson and his Mika binder. I don't really want to make nuanced and intellectual analysis of this. I just want to look at the memes because uh, it's actually hilarious. It's it's really a parody of a parody. It's, it's so stupid, but I genuinely scream like a little girl because my sense of humor is genuinely just terrible. It's, it's garbage. It's... It's... it's bad. And you guys are just a bunch of raccoons digging into this flaming pile of garbage that is my channel. Watch him roll it. Watch him go. I love you. Please stay. <laughs> Shout out to my homie Starshine C for this character shit of JFK. I hope you're all happy. Because even my real life friends said I kind of talk like JFK whenever I do silly voices. I'm just happy I'm not told I sound like a girl. And that's a win in my book. Checkmate, liberal. <laughs> in this AU, JFK thinks he can rap, but can't. Uh, it happens to the best of us, so there's a lot of rappers that can't actually rap. You wanted to do you too, but you can't do you because you're too afraid to do you because you don't know who you is. Nothing to be ashamed of. He has a SoundCloud from before his transition and is one of the few people that has collabed with G-Spot. We need more men collabing with the G-Spot, honestly. <laughs> okay, so you can barely read this one. I don't know the artist. I wish I did. Please let me know if anyone knows who drew it. I tried to Google but couldn't find anything, but I just I just had to include it. <sighs> Yandere Dev. He got that Osama binder and the shirt that says I met God, she's a Yandere. I mean, after these last couple of years, I'm actually inclined to believe him. Thinks he can make games, but he can't. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> Obsessed with I N anime. Real. Electric chair. <laughs> Jeffree Star's former drug Bruh. dealer. It hasn't been the same since Jeffree got with Kanye. Tattoo artist. Gave Nicocado Avocado his first tattoo. Michelle Obama says pizza is a vegetable. <laughs> Pretends to like music but only listens to Tie. Real. Always beat the love letter creators at the worst game title. 
real. And of course, someone had to make one for Ben Shapiro. His shirt says, Met God, she got a wet ass P word. He was once addicted to jewel pods, Cardi B stan account owner, naturally. A cab 100%, really based. More like based Shapiro, am I right, guys? <laughs> Facts. Logic. I was unsure whether to include this one because, like, I'm a tiny bean YouTuber, uvu, and I gotta watch who I piss off. I am not really good at it, as you could probably tell. It's all good and fun, okay? I have no hate in my heart. Peace, peace and love and all of that. <laughs> I just thought it'd be appropriate to honor Hamilton's number one fan. Shout out to Moss Milf for drawing this masterpiece of Wilbur Sir and his dream binder. Why did I get a libra? I'm... Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there because um, I just learned something really devastating through um, this one tweet here. It's right here. I put it on the screen. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Was anyone gonna tell me that DSMP is basically a Hamilton fanfic? Mm, or was I gonna have to learn that through that one tweet? Yes. 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 Was, um, was anyone gonna tell me that without Lin-Manuel Miranda we wouldn't have DSMP <laughs> or the Miku Hatsune Binder? Michelle Obama says pizza is a vegetable. <laughs> we truly live in the darkest timeline, don't we? Honestly, I know I'm being annoying right now. You're sitting there looking at my foolish self. You feel kind of bad for me. I get you. I can't help it. I can't help it. These memes are like candy for the brain for me. His shirt says, Met God. He's green. I, I know it's referring to dream, but I'd rather think it's Shrek. Pussy! Works either way, honestly. Okay, um, no offense, but uh, you know that this is unrealistic because he's 6'3. What the hell? What the fuck? Is this allowed? What the fuck? Is that allowed? I'm, I'm sorry, kings, but none of us are six free. It's impossible. I'm sorry, but facts don't care about your feelings. P word. Go take your testosterone. <laughs> He's also British, and uh, I would make fun of him here, but apparently I'm not allowed to make fun of British people anymore because my boy Yulepod called me out for being quote unquote British adjacent, or, uh, whatever that means. Obsessed with Hamilton. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. There's something wrong with my tongue. I can't say ha Hamilton. Hamburger. It's really tongue twister for me. I'm sorry. But anyways, naturally, as he should, I think. Uh, is, is, is this problematic? I don't know at this point. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what a lot of these things are a reference to. I don't watch live streams. I have to pause videos every three minutes. Do you think I have the attention span to watch a live stream? Absolutely not. I'm ADHD. <laughs> And I take medications. <laughs> Is he canonically a drug lord? Like, I, I, I'm not judging. Back when I watched Minecraft series, ahem, January High School, they were in fact special sugar dealers at one point. I just discovered that episode 69 is literally called <coughs> Bug Grade, so yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Grey robbers. <laughs> Did they murder someone? Probably. <laughs> Gaslighter, etc. So yeah, maybe? Is he? Is he? <sighs> I guess that's why I'm so intrigued by MCYT nowadays. I really miss Yonder High School. This is exactly why I've been thinking of making a video going over the plot of Yandere High School because um, I think it's important that you as my viewers know about my previous special interest, okay? So if I make it, y'all should, should watch it, okay? Thank you, bye. And of course, my favorite point, hashtag mansplainer. <laughs> Honestly, good for him. Good for him. Jokes aside, I love joking about mansplaining, but we need to have a serious conversation at one point. 
Some of y'all don't know the difference between mansplaining and the man just innocently sharing facts he's excited about or info dumping. I personally only get away with mansplaining because I'm cute and get infantilized all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so do I think I'm transgender? Yes, a thousand percent. In conclusion, please use your brains for once in your life. Please. It's collecting dust in there. <laughs> shit. I'm s shit. I'm sorry. I genuinely can't tell if this is good content. Is this is this what you guys subscribed for? Are you, are, are you entertained? Are you as entertained as I am writing this? In all honesty, I think this might be off-putting to cis people like what are we even doing? What's so funny? What's so funny about saying that Thomas Jefferson is trans? <laughs> I don't know. As a trans person who engages in the community, I often see trans and sexuality headcanons. Sometimes it's very inappropriate, especially when it's a real life person and they haven't explicitly said that they're okay with it. Honestly, you are allowed, you're allowed to headcanon me as whatever you want. Headcanon me as a cis guy, please. Head cannon me as six foot three, please. Thank you. But you know, you know, Markiplier is a real person. It's weird. It's weird that you're shipping him with his real life friends. It's wrong with you people. Same goes for, you know, speculating about content creators, sexuality. I see this pretty often and I'm disgusted with you. Disgusting! Even if they later come out and it turns out that you were right. There's a reason they hadn't come out yet. There's, yeah, there's a reason, you know? Electric chair. I guess that's why I find this meme so funny. It's funny to me, guys. It's poking fun at everyone who does this with real life people. I mean, I couldn't care less if you ship Naruto and Sasuke, like, go nuts, do you? Hopefully it's already clear to you that none of these memes I've shown reflects any of these people. It's it's all satire. Except Ben Shapiro, he's he's definitely trans. For this wet ass P word. One hundred percent. I'm I'm kidding, please don't take me seriously. My wife. Other um, extremely funny memes that trans Thomas Jefferson spawned are, for example, this edit of his face on Mount Rushmore, him on the dollar bill. This is honestly one of my favorite types of memes. Remember anime George Washington? It's so good. Then there's um, this meme that brings me to my next point. It's just their original character sheet, but they've edited out the cool factoids and replaced it with owned more than 500 slaves in his lifetime, which is exactly why this meme blew up in the first place. One of the main criticisms a lot had of the people who engaged in the Hamilton fandom is that they're romanticizing old white slave owners, which you know is kinda problematic, like the youth say. As a notorious white, upper class, conventionally attractive, 6'5 muscular cis head man myself, it's not really my place at all to tell anyone whether it's okay or how to feel about it. Mm, slave owner to the side, headcanoning a historical figure, no matter what, it's just, uh, it's just kind of bizarre to me. The original creator, along with multiple other fans, defended their fan work by stating that it's based on the musical, not the historical figures. Though, a lot of people find it hard to separate the two of them, since um, the musical is of course a retelling of history, though slightly adjusted. Something I've seen a lot of people point out, which I actually have to agree with, is that this AU isn't just a blemish on the fandom. The musical itself is the root of the problem, since it's kind of um, whitewashing history, you know? Which, unfortunately, isn't the first time, as you probably know. <laughs> Please don't take this as an attack on Hamilton the musical or Lin-Manuel Miranda. Hamilton slaps, not gonna lie. Oh, you are a man of honor. I I'm just pointing it out. Critical thinking in there. However, it's a pretty far jump to go from just withholding the fact that someone was a slave owner to mm, creating an entire universe where that slave owner is trans and wears a Hatsune Miku binder. 
Why I won't necessarily defend this abomination, it doesn't really sit right with me that the creator got in proportional amounts of hate. To me, uh, this is just a silly meme. I don't think the creator is disgusting or irredeemable. She just made an oopsie. It shouldn't be an excuse to send hateful messages to a black woman. It's, it's not productive, it's disgusting and cruel in all honesty. I understand why you, as someone who isn't always represented in the media, would make up headcanons like this. In this case, the problem was that the quote-unquote character in question is a real person, although dead, who was a slave owner. It, it's kind of uncomfortable, but to my understanding, at the time of her creating this AU, she was a minor. Minors do stupid things all of the time because they don't really understand where the line is drawn. I can guarantee that I and the rest of you watching this video have done something equally as problematic and cringe when we were younger. The only difference is that most of us didn't share it with the world and weren't as unfortunate to have their awkward teenage moment go viral. I'm not saying that it should have gone completely unchallenged. All I'm saying is that perhaps we shouldn't all personally attack someone for a mistake of this nature. Maybe we should just, um, uh, just, just chill. Just, just a bit. What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Last but not least, I thought I should at least mention that she has come out and apologized for this, along with some other situations I'm not as familiar with. That being said, I kind of want to make my own version of this meme, like me with a Naruto binder and a shirt that says Met God, she's an idiot, and I sell my normal pills, so... 